the long-awaited Amazon Cloud Gaming Platform is here. Luna will be launching soon and it's now accepting early access. We just received access and we will guide you through how to sign up, install, and start playing games on Amazon Luna on the desktop. We'll start with the official Windows app and then we'll get playing on Google Chrome. Let's get started. You'll have to sign up and sign in to get access to the app downloads page. First, we'll sign up for a Luna subscription from the Luna homepage at amazon.com slash Luna and scroll down to find the subscription section. Hit the free trial button in the Luna box. This box will allow you to confirm your seven day subscription sign up. Luna Plus is just the name they have for their monthly membership. As of now, it's only $5.99 a month. It will also sync with your Amazon account to use your preferred payment method to pay for your monthly subscription. If you do not have a preferred payment method, you'll have to enter one before continuing. Go ahead and hit confirm subscription to continue when finished. You officially now have access to play on Luna. It will now show you the ways to play on Luna. This is where you get access to the Windows app and direct access to play on the browser. We'll first start with the Windows app. Make sure you get a glimpse of the requirements for the app first. You'll need Windows 10 with DirectX 11 support, which comes standard. At least Intel HD Graphics 4000, which most users should already have, and some kind of controller. It also says to have 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz Wi-Fi. These two frequencies come standard in most Wi-Fi routers today, so my recommendation is to use the 5 GHz if available. Don't even bother with the 2.4 GHz because you will have major gameplay problems if on desktop. Hit the download button under Windows to download the app and download it wherever you please on your PC and run it once it's done. Luna will then be installed quickly to your PC and now all you need to do is sign in with your Amazon account and start playing. Once you are signed into the Luna app, it'll ask you who is playing. You have the option to have another user log in and play Luna on one account. Choose your user to continue. Luna will then show you a tip screen to get started. Read them over and hit OK. After this, you will come to the dashboard. The Luna Home dashboard is where you'll find all the latest game releases, featured games, and the top game picks, plus your most previously played games. The Library tab is where you'll have a list of all the games you have access to play under your current subscription status. For example, here is Sonic Mania. I have access to play this right now under my Luna Plus subscription. But some games, like the Ubisoft games right now, are only available under the Ubisoft Plus subscription. I'll have to sign up for Ubisoft Plus to get access to The Division 2 or any other Ubisoft game in the lineup. The next tab is your playlist. Luna makes it very easy to add your favorite games to this playlist by clicking the Add to Playlist button from the details of a game page. Searching for something special in Luna? Feel free to search for it here in the Search tab. And last but not least, we have the Settings tab. Here you can view and set up your controllers, check on your account status, set parental controls, play with your audio and video quality, link your accounts for Ubisoft and Twitch, view the help pages and send feedback, and also view the about pages. You can sign out from here as well. Now, let's get into a game to see how things play. Go back to the library or the home dashboard and click on a game you want to play. Hit the play now button to get that game started. Make sure you have your controller or mouse and keyboard ready to go.
Once you are ready to quit playing your game, hit the keys Shift plus Tab to open up the in-game menu at any time. A side menu will slide out and you will be able to see active controllers and the option to quit. Hit the button to quit and then it will confirm that you want to quit. After you quit your game, Luna will then ask you for feedback. Choose an option and then you are done. Feel free to choose a different game or just close the app altogether. If you do not want to bother with the desktop app, you can always just play Luna on the Google Chrome browser. All you have to do is log into Luna on Google Chrome and the dashboard automatically appears. Navigate through the app on the browser just like we did on the desktop app. Everything performs the same way. Click on a game and press play now to get started. Once finished, hit shift tab once again to exit your session as we did before. I hope this tutorial has guided you on the ins and outs and how to play Luna on your Windows desktop. To know the latest information on Luna and other cloud gaming platforms, like and subscribe to make sure you get the latest cloud gaming news at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, cloud gaming battle.